Glad to be back. It's good to talk to you. There's lots to go on as usual. It's definitely a lot going on today in the markets for gold. We're seeing, I believe Friday was an all-time high close for gold, and now we're seeing gold above 2100. We've never sustained a level above this uh, price point. What is your take on the strength we're seeing in gold today? Well, there's a combination of fundamentals and technicals. There's folks smarter than me who track the technicals. To me, the strength we're seeing today is just the beginning of a much longer book, a much longer bull cycle in gold, not in a straight line. All the fundamentals of why gold is important, not just to central bankers and a few smart hedge fund managers and a small minority of very far-sighted uh, precious metal investors. Uh, the world is um, falling into place. And I say falling, collapsing into place in a lot of ways for gold. That's not an exaggeration anymore. It's not sensational. Um, managers, hedge fund managers that I admire and I'll caveat that I've alligated to like Jeremy Grantham um, at GMO understands gold. Drucker Mueller understands gold. Paul Singer at Elliott understands gold and miners in particular in the value play. But they see what we've been talking about for years and has accelerated dramatically uh, since the weaponization of the world reserve currency back almost two years ago to the date in 2022. The de-dollarization theme that was fringe and conspiracy theory is now becoming undeniably important. Uh, the tier one asset status of gold, the fact that central banks since 2014 have been stacking physical gold at record levels and letting go of US treasuries at record levels. You can no longer castigate those signs and that evidence to the fringe of gold bug, uh, you know, kooks. It's simply the reality of the markets. Uh, the policymakers and the mainstream financial media will do their best to continue to drag the, I'd say, the retail plankton into the whale of Wall Street. To Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue chase these market tops right now and that's fine for speculators and um but the simple fact of debt markets credit markets and currency markets and their last breaths not their last breath but their last breaths are now becoming more and more undeniable uh the words and tricks of policymakers uh and mainstream media which is highly corporatized aren't having the same impact on on informed investors and even less informed investors, because regardless of the signposts that are officially laid out there, the realities in front of most Americans and most investors are becoming more and more clear. And it's not just that gold loves chaos and gold will go up as heightened fears rise. Gold loves to uh, punish uh, wayward policymakers uh, and the un unwritten or unspoken sins of living beyond our means in debt and debasing our currency and trying to seduce the masses with clever words rather than honest math. And so, again, long winded way of saying the fundamentals are returning because, you know, as Egon, my partner and colleague, Van Greyer, has always says, the best friend, ironically, for smart and informed and long sighted gold investors is our central bankers themselves and the Fed particular as the fed becomes more cornered and more desperate and as the need to issue more debt becomes more inevitable the debasement of the currency is more inevitable and this is something von mises warned about this is something thomas jefferson warned about this is something ernest hemingway warned about uh, this is something rogoff and reinhardt were warned about these are just the the inevitable uh symptoms of a debt cycle and a uh, fourth turning and uh a karmic reality for mismanaged uh, central planning mismanaged uh central banks and monetary policy since 1971 and it's been slow and steady in favor of gold now it's accelerating like hemingway's description of poverty it starts slowly we've beaten this up but it happens all at once at some point and long story short that's why gold is starting to hit new highs these are not the all-time highs they'll go much higher than this in the future and that won't be in a straight line necessarily but between what's happening in the global debt markets what's happening in the retail space becoming more informed what's happening with portfolio managers becoming more informed central bankers becoming more informed um, I think even this, these market bubbles, which we can talk about, are starting to seem surreal even to the speculators. So there's just so much happening in such a strange way that all, I think, bode very, very well for physical gold. And uh, and what's happening, we can talk about, too, on the COMEX or the silver markets or the gold markets and the, and the London Exchange and the New York Exchange. It's just it's historical right now. So. They're all signposts that things are not the end of the world, but things are cracking in, in undeniably obvious ways.
Now, I would like to get to what is happening on the exchanges. First, though, I'd like your perspective on it does seem very significant to me that we're breaking above this $2,100 level. And a lot of people have been saying, you know, that that this has been resistance for a couple of years now, uh, this price point. And so what do you expect from here? Do you expect a major run up um, or do you kind of expect i know peter grandich we had on said it's going to be an arm wrestling match to 2500 uh, so what is your take on what we're going to see in the coming months i agree i think the target is easily 2500 between now and then when you break that technical resigner resist line of resistance you would normally expect and i hate to say it the usual suspects in the comics to start putting a boot to the neck and sending out large paper shorts to to kind of artificially manipulate that market the reality that we're seeing right now for a number of reasons uh way past basel three is that that comics has less and less ammunition and less and less focus on gold and silver right now. First of all, they're simply undeniable, um, really fascinating ha things happening with Andy Sheckman, who you know very well, has talked very brilliantly about and has been tracking. He's been tracking for years, but is always one step ahead of what's happening on the comics and the silver markets and the gold markets there and also in the silver and, and gold exchanges in London. I mean, again, he made the uh, comment of the day about J.P. Morgan, you know, in the past had almost a nearly billion dollar fine for the sin of manipulating the gold price, uh, which they are not alone in doing. And now they've got, I think, uh, 45 million ounces of gold on their off their books, but in their coffers, so to speak, another 1.2 billion ounces of silver. So what they're doing behind the scenes with an asset they used to manipulate, they're now stacking just like the central banks in Saudi Arabia, China, Russia, India, and other BRICS nations. So the COMEX is taking full delivery, large amounts. I mean, the silver, the silver level on the COMEX right now is at record lows. And in, in London and in New York, so there's simply not enough supply there to meet the demand and the deliverables. Once those hard assets that are highly levered to short the markets in the past leave the comex they don't come back in very easily and so i think when you break a technical line of resistance uh on the spot price at the same time that the comex and in, in the uh, london markets are running out of physical assets to manipulate those markets at the same time that central banks and more shadow banking or shadow advisors are buying physical gold and paper gold, it's getting harder to manipulate that price. I wrote an article a few months back too, or a few weeks back, just about the fact that now you have a Shanghai gold exchange, you have a Shanghai oil market, you have a Shanghai gold market, we're going to see the same thing in Russia with the Moscow world standard. All this post-2022 sanctions, you can't have three different gold markets and only have one manipulating them. So the power to manipulate precious metals in the past is slowly but steadily changing. The outflows out of the COMEX and the LBMA banks and the London exchanges is, is historical. It's literally historical. So that, in a combination with the technical signals we're seeing when you break resistance, you'll see higher highs and lower lows. You'll see less ability by the usual suspects to manipulate the paper price, which we all know happens. There's some who argue that that's not true. It's simply undeniable, undeniably true. And at the same- Small ebook, big impact, the wealth tree. The only four ways that will make you financially free forever. Download it here for free.